Hi, this is Ed Gregory for Photos in Color, and today I'm going to show you how to do a full beauty retouch in Lightroom. Basically taking this image and turning it into this image, only using Lightroom. Here comes the theme tune. Do you think there's too much shaker in the theme tune? I don't know. Anyway, usually when I'm going to do a beauty retouch, I would use Photoshop and other programs. But now we're at Lightroom CC, there are so many options that actually you can do a full beauty retouch. So let's jump into Lightroom and have a look. Today we're going to be using this photograph of the amazing model Lucy Scarf from the UK. Again, this image was shot a few years ago in the studio and she looks fantastic. So let's jump in and let's see what we can do. The first thing we're going to do is set the white balance. So we're going to use the eyedropper in the top corner here and I'm going to click on the background because that should be in white. And already the image is starting to look great. The next thing we're going to look at is the exposure and all the tones. So I think for what I want to do with this, I'm going to boost the exposure up just a little bit and knock the contrast down just a hair. Now with the highlights, I'm going to pull them back because that's where the skin tones are living. So let's bring the highlights back and the shadow for the hair, which is this, you can see I'm just going to lift it a little bit. It's also going to help these dark circles under the eye. And then the whites, I'm going to pull back a little bit, a little bit like above and the blacks, you know, I'm going to leave them about in the middle. So overall as an image, I think this looks clean and fresh and great, but it doesn't really feel like a beauty shot, something which you'd see in a magazine. So let's see what else we can do. The next thing I would do would be a skin retouch. Now again, we would usually do this in Photoshop, but actually in Lightroom, we can do something quite impressive. Using this heel brush tool in the top right hand side here, make sure it's set to heel. I usually have it at um, opacity at 100 and then have it kind of soft but not too soft, so somewhere in the middle. And then you can change the size of it as you go and we're just going to start cleaning up any blemishes. But what you can see is Lightroom actually selects where it's going to fix for you so you don't actually have to do very much thinking. Now importantly, with this, we're not going to be getting rid of any freckles or anything like that because this is actually the model's real skin tone and I like to keep those things in there. Okay, this is, it keeps the model looking fantastic and real. So as you can see, we're going to move through this and we're just going to take away any of the blemishes on the skin. Now you can see we have some hair which is coming into the face we are also going to sort this out later on but for now let's just make sure we've got all of those blemishes and don't forget the neck often people forget to come down and actually do a retouch on the body so people have great you know smooth skin on the face and then they'll have a blemish on their arm you know let's make sure we don't do that so let's just come out and have a look I think, oh, we've just missed a bit of mascara that's fallen off her face there. Great. Now, the next thing is the hair. We can see some hair coming in there. Using the exact same tool, we're going to shrink the brush. And for this, we're just going to follow this piece of hair. And what Lightroom does is it has a look and it realizes it can just fix it very quickly by selecting a slightly different area. We're actually going to do the same with this piece of hair here, although I'm going to do it in two stages. One stage here, and then we're going to do one more time along the bottom just here. And then actually around the eye, I do want to just take it out there as well. So let's turn this off. You see we've missed a section there, so let's jump back in. And we will in fact just take that piece out looks fantastic. Now we've, we're very close with the model, so let's come back out. Really nice skin retouch on this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the bottom, right click, and I'm going to create a virtual copy of this. So we can keep going back 
see what it was like at the beginning and hit reset so this was the initial image and this is where we've got to so far and I'm really happy with it next thing let's do a retouch on the eyes now for the eyes what I like to do is I like to use the brush tool so I come up to the top right hand corner up here and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to edit so let's reset everything different parts of the eyes at different times so the first thing I like to do is set my exposure to zero so it's going to make it really dark but it means that I can actually see which areas I'm selecting and I want to select the outside of the eye like so on each side of the eye now in Photoshop basically this is dodge and burn and I'm also going to do the actual pupil itself like so now obviously that's way too much so we're going to bring the exposure back to zero because what we want to do is we want to take the shadows and darken the shadows and also darken the highlights okay I'm actually going to take the whites down on that too which is just going to help darken that down and I think oh my exposure's a little high that's great and then we're going to add a new one and this is what's going to be essentially dodging so let's just reset the exposure by double tapping the word and it puts it to zero now on this new layer that we've just selected well it's not a layer it's a new brush actually what we're going to do is we're going to lift the shadows up and also the highlights and for this we're going to just take the center of the eyes by scooping it round like so and the same on the other side I think we can go you can see as it's moving there I can go quite a long way with this and the highlights let's really take them up to make the eyes pop now this is what I am going to do as well is add a little bit of color to the eyes now she's got blue or green eyes so keeping inside brush we're going to hit new and for this let's reset all these options here go to color we're going to set the blue green tone to about here I think is going to work for her eyes you can see with the eyedropper and literally we're going to paint over the eyes okay now importantly with this we don't want to go too far with this because we can make people's eyes look incredibly fake very quickly so let's take a look at that now at this point I would always zoom out and really have a look what it looks like so again let's look at the before and the after already this image is starting to come to life and look really quite fantastic I actually don't want to do anything else with the eyes I haven't pushed them too far but they do look great so let's move on to some other things that I'm quite excited about and this is going to add some really exciting effects to this image the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tone curve and I want to add a little bit of extra blue into the shadows by selecting the blue channel as we can see at the bottom here and sliding this up ever so slightly now I'm using a Wacom tablet so it's actually a challenge to do this so I instead I will use it like so and we're just going to lift that color up on the blue angle not too much like so and then I'm going to take the red channel and just in the highlights here I'm going to boost that now I'm going to bring it back down in the center so it's just my highlights and already this image has got a completely different feel but we're still a long way from where I want to take the image now the next thing I'm going to do I want to add some really bright highlights fading up from the bottom so to do this I'm going to take the gradient filter just here I'm going to move the exposure all the way up the highlights and the shadows and the whites and the blacks up a little bit too and the contrast all the way down and I'm going to make sure my color is set to white and then I'm just going to fade this image up like so and I'm going to go all the way up to this section here then drag this down so you can see it's going to really fade out now I don't actually think the exposure needs to go that high 
but something like that is starting to look really nice. In fact, the whites I'm gonna take down here and kind of do it slightly differently, like so, and I'm gonna take out the saturation a little bit, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do it again. The same thing, just like so, which I think is quite exciting. And we're going to bring those whites down a little bit like so. I'm really happy with the way that's starting to look. Now I know it, it's quite extreme, but this is a beauty shot and I want it to look really special. Great, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna come into the brush, okay? And I'm gonna reset everything by double tapping on all of these words. And what I want to do here is I'm gonna knock the exposure down, okay? I wanna have a really nice soft brush and we're gonna make the brush nice and big. And literally I'm just going to come in on the sides of the faces and we're just gonna all the way around this like so, kind of come in and we're gonna come in on the face just a little bit here. So a hair's actually gonna change color, like so. This is starting to look fantastic. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of contouring to her face. So we're gonna hit new again, and we're going to reset the exposure, and this time take the shadows and make the shadows go down. And I'm gonna put the flow nice and low so we can layer this up. And all I'm going to do is paint on the side of the face and build this up into different layers. Now I'm gonna lift that up a little bit more and knock it down like so. Oh, that's just, I did that wrong. Come out, there we go. I'm gonna add this nice contour onto the side of her cheeks here just to bring in the face. Oh, it looks fantastic. And then underneath the chin, gonna do the same thing. And this now is starting to look quite interesting. Now the next thing we're going to do is use the radial filter and we're going to draw around her face like so. And what we're going to do is we are going to take the sharpness and take it down to zero, okay? And make sure it's not inverted. So what we can see if we hit O, we can see the mask of what we're actually having an effect on. So that's all the way around the outside. I think that's quite fantastic, actually. And I'm gonna hit brush, erase, okay? And I'm gonna make sure I erase the area around her eyes and her lips, just like so, so that she is very sharp in those areas. And let's also just bring out these flowers just a little bit like so. Hit O again so we can see what the effect we had. And we're going to come out, and I think that's looking great. Next thing we're going to do is we're gonna move down to the split toning. We're gonna to add a little bit of yellow to the highlights and a little bit of the blues or purples to the shadows. Like so, we're gonna add it a little bit more to the purple side of things, like so. And I'm just gonna do a little edit on this that we had going on here, actually. And we're going to, you know, just bring that back a little bit, like so. I'm happy with that. But what I do want to do is under this, under RGB, under the tone curve, I'm gonna add one point here, and then I'm gonna drag this bottom corner up. And I'm gonna just lift it like so, just to kind of add this effect. It's gonna make it very beautiful. Oh, I like that a lot. But I do think that it's missing a little bit of that pink feel. So we're gonna come back to the reds here. And we're gonna lift the reds in the midtones, Just a hair. And I'm gonna go back to the blues and take that up a little bit more just to push that image. Now, if we look at the beginning, this is what we started with and this is what we've ended up with. And I think it's looking really quite fantastic. I'm now gonna add a little crop to this. So I'm going to 
hit shift because I want to keep the same aspect ratio and I'm going to drag it in to about here using this my navigator to see what I'm going to look like and then if I hit the angle button here and I actually draw between her two pupils it's going to make sure that the eyes are completely aligned come out of that and this as an image I love I'm going to add one more final thing I'm going to add another one of these radial filters and I just want to kind of it's a little bit like a vignette is what I'm going to add and I'm going to knock the exposure down make sure I invert that mask make it a little wider there going to take the feathering down so it just moves away from the face and that there we have gone from the beginning image and this is the final image in just a few steps just there and that's how we do a beauty retouch in Lightroom so that was a full beauty retouch and all we used was Lightroom and the settings that you can do in the develop module now, if you liked this tutorial, then please give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe because we've got so many more videos on their way. Now, that was a lot to handle. So if you are confused about how I did any of those things, go back and look at some of the other tutorials because we go into detail with everything. Anyway, this was Ed Gregory for Photos in Color and thank you so much and I'll see you next time.